Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Sunday the 19th of November 2023. I hope you are keeping well. It's evening time here in Bangkok. This is my Sudoku at bedtime series. Uh, I should be playing in just a moment. Uh, I got a question in the comments section about why I don't immediately put in candidates pencil marks from the beginning. And that's because it's kind of less fun and also try to restrict the number of candidates. But there are some games that I play where I actually do put in the candidates right from the beginning because I know that it's going to be a tough game. And I know that we're going to have um, a, a, some kind of uh, Sudoku logic conundrum at the end, which needs some kind of Sudoku technique. Now, for me, I can't see Sudoku techniques without pencil marks, so I absolutely know that I'm going to need them. Uh, but some games, the pencil marks are not necessary for me. Um, uh, some they are, I just have no idea at the beginnings. But if it's a game like this, which is the LA Times Impossible level Sudoku, um, then I will be putting in pencil marks from the beginning because... Uh, I know that it's going to take some kind of Sudoku technique at the end, or I assume that it's going to take some Sudoku technique at the end to finish. I'll be getting on with that in a moment. I see uh, it's election time in Brazil where they might be voting in insane lunatic Millet, uh, who uh, makes Donald Trump look like a puppy, uh, a kitten. Uh, please don't. Uh, it won't end well. It really won't. You should learn from the examples around the world. Look at uh, Bolsonaro and other lunatics like that. Trump, please learn from other people's experience. Don't vote for these lunatics. Uh, good luck, Argentina. You're going to need it. OK, uh, there are a couple of things that I can see. Actually, I'm going to put in pencil marks in a second, but I do see a couple of things to begin with. So I see the sixes like this. Um, so I'm going to do that at the beginning there. I think I saw something else as well, did I? Uh, weird, I thought I saw something there. Fours blocking across here, four across here, four up and up there, excuse me, there's a four. <coughs> uh, there's four across here and down here as well, there's a four. Okay, so that now I will uh, go ahead with pencil marks. Um, so let's start with the ones there. We've also got a pair of ones up here. Twos are a pair down here. Threes are down there. Somewhere there. Um. Ah, we've got four blocking down here and four across here. So fours in those squares there. Now four blocking across and across here and up and down there. So that will be a four. Got fours down here. There are fives down here. Fives there. Fives there. Okay, we've got five blocking, oops, excuse me, five blocking down here and five blocking down here. So that has to be a pair of three and five over here. <clears throat> okay. Sixes are up there. Pair 
Seven's there. Seven's there. Uh, eight's blocking across here and an eight down there, so that will be our eight. This will be our one. Uh, nine blocking across here. Two's in those squares. Two's here. Um, is there anything else? Oh yeah, look, we've got eight here. That can't be eight. That is eight. That's a seven. Three blocking this square, three blocking this square, and three blocking this square. So that is a three. Let's get rid of those candidate threes. Five blocking down here. Here's a five. That must be five. This can't be five. That can't be five. This must be five. Uh, so this is eight, eight blocking up here and up here puts eight into that square. This is a one, one across here. That means that's a one, one blocking across here and across here and up there. That would be our digit one. Gives me a pair of ones in those squares. One blocking down here and up there means that's going to be a one because one's in those squares there. That's a one, that is not. <coughs> Here's our two. Two blocking up there, there's a pair of twos. This is a two, we've got two across here 
and two across here like this. There's our two. Twos are somewhere up there as well. Uh, any more on twos? Not sure. Threes. Threes are in those squares and those squares there because of this three blocking up there, right? So threes are there. So that means threes have to be in one of these two squares here. But now we've got threes here, so this can't be three. That's going to be three. This is going to be one. That's our one here. Let's remove candidate one from there. Oh, one is finished. One and eight is finished. Uh, we're also looking for a seven in those squares there, which means that's going to be a seven. Missing number down here is six. Oh, my cat sounds annoyed. Looking for attention again. Six blocks up here. That's going to be six. This is going to be nine. Um, and six is going to be in those squares. The missing number here is 9, which can go anywhere at the moment, I think. We also need 9s in those squares down there. And a pair of 9s here. And 9s up there. Uh, Okay, so I think we are just about done uh, with the pair work. So there's only a couple of blocks to finish off here. So this is done, this is done, of course. Two, three numbers there. We haven't finished here. Uh, what are we looking for? Two blocks across there like that. So we have two there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Done. This is done. That's done. It's just this block over here, I think. Uh, what do we know about the twos? They block up there. Uh, three, four, five, six blocks across here. And so six is possible like that. Seven, eight, and nine done. So I think that's it, isn't it? So, um, the last few weeks I have played this game and we've had XY wings as our solution. And I see quite a few pairs. Could be the same kind of thing. Could be an X wing, I suppose. Or it could be uh, another XY wing. Um, give me a chance to uh, look around a bit. See what I can see. There we go. I th think I'm going to start on the 9 to the 2 down here. The 2. Okay, start on the 9. Second digit is the 2. 2 down here. We've got 7. 7, 9. 9 is our start and end digit. We've got an XY, another XY wing as we've had a for the last couple of weeks playing this game. So you can see 9 is the beginning and end digit. 9, 2, 2, 7, 7, 9. Okay, so this square here can see the beginning square and the ending square. That means the 9 can be removed, and that's going to leave me there with... Oops, what happened there? I uh, accidentally selected a lot of squares. <laughs> I was trying to put the 3 here, and I accidentally selected a lot of squares, but that's better now. So that's going to be a 7. This is going to be a 2. That should be enough to finish the game because there are not that many squares. Um, not that much to do, really, is there? So this is a 9 down here, of course. That's a 7. 
So two here, seven there, four, three. And about me um, filling in the pencil marks from the beginning, this is a nine. Um, as I say, I'm only going to do that if I am convinced that the game is going to need some kind of uh, Sudoku um, puzzle at the end. This is nine. And uh, I don't really play these games to do them as quickly as possible. Um, I play the games for fun, really, and um, it takes as long as it takes. But uh, the only thing I shouldn't do is if the games are too short, right? if they're over too quickly, YouTube will penalize my videos. They won't be promoted at all. So there's a kind of sweet spot. If the games are too short, they won't really appear on YouTube. And if the games are too long, people don't want to click on them because they're too boring. So this one is probably just about the perfect length of time uh, because there's a little bit of a conundrum at the end. Or it could be a bit longer than this. If it's, you know, around about the 20 minute mark is probably the best for me. Uh, it will get me the most reasonable amount of viewers and YouTube will promote my video nicely. If it's like 10 minutes, YouTube won't stick it out there. And if it's 35 or 40 minutes people are going oh, I'm not clicking on that it's going to be boring as hell so anyway that's uh, some of the stuff there that's uh, uh, impossible Sudoku once again proved to be possible okay see you uh, during the week my weekend's over now bye bye